Yes. <clears throat> Hello everybody. It's my first time to be here at the European Parliament and it's a big honor for me to, to, to have this invite here. Uh, let me give a short uh, introduction about what the role of Deutsche Telekom is in, in, in the context of automotive driving and it's definitely uh, uh, not that we are going to enter into a, a car business or becoming a car producer. Already today, broadband connectivity is the must in every car. Yeah, and, and, and you have mentioned already, I mean, uh, infotainment is something which you want to have in your car. Yeah, you want to, to, to use the content. And the more the car assists or takes over in driving, the more there is a need for infotainment content. Yeah. And you have also this area of uh, digital maps which need to be downloaded to the car. And if you're talking about really autonomous driving, then you need highly precise maps which you cannot preload in the car. You will download in real time to get the latest status. And you need also to upload all of the sensor data from the cars to integrate them as information on top of these maps. And all that needs to be up and downloaded uh, uh, quite fast. And, and that's typically broadband connectivity, what you will use. The second area is then the area of uh, safety related information which is more type of car to car or car to infrastructure communication that's an area where we as telco operators are not much involved yeah? uh, we appreciate that their telco technologies are being used we think there is a big advantage to use telco, telco <coughs> technologies because uh, uh, we are in an ecosystem which is very innovative which is very fast developing yeah and, and, and i think that's something that where definitely the automotive industry can benefit from but it's not like we see a big business in that area. Uh, what is important is, I think, that we can use uh, uh, in that area public license spectrum. Uh, first of all, because of the nature of this communication, you want to have one car which sends messages to all cars around. You don't want to be bothered with whether this is a Deutsche Telekom car or a Vodafone car, and the receiver is Vodafone or Deutsche Telekom. You want to have one sender sending to everybody here. Yeah, I think that's, that's an important characteristic uh, which needs to be supported. And uh, the second point is also price point. Uh, because when we talk about security related information, uh, then that's something which I had to learn from, from uh, uh, people like Johan here, then there is very few willingness to pay for that. Because customers expect that the car is secure by nature. Yeah, it's a given. So it's not something which you can sell as an add-on more security. Yeah, uh, uh, that's uh, similar to what we have as, as telco operators. Reliability is our core business. We cannot sell anybody that we have a more reliable network or whatever. Yeah, so, so safety is a given, need to be integrated in the car, and therefore uh, uh, it's kind of a pre-invest uh, which the OSM has have to do, and that need to be low cost. Uh, and, and, and spectrum cost is a significant part of, of, of telco operations cost, so uh, I think that would be beneficial. Um, the third area then uh, um, uh, we are involved is also uh, cloud business. So when you think not only about cars, but you think about infrastructure like traffic lights, when you think about replacing some of these mechanisms by more dynamic exchange so people coming to a crossing and exchanging information uh, but also when you think that there are a lot of vulnerable participants uh, which don't have a built-in modem so if you think about pedestrians if you think about bicycle drivers i'm a i'm a very passionate motor motorcyclist yeah so so typically with these devices you you will need to have different means and and they are our smartphones come into play where we can also connect customers and, and integrate them into that ecosystem. I've been working over the last one and a half years <coughs> with automotive, and I would like to share one observation here, and I think that's also some asset which the telcos can bring in. When I heard first time about uh, we want to do European trials, it took me around one hour to get in touch with my colleagues from Vodafone and from Orange and to agree that we want to do something together as our three operators uh, to support the European Union in, in these testing activities. Uh, I think we, had, we, we have a heritage which comes from the basics of, of GSM uh, and I was lucky to be part of that evolution already in the early 90s. 
Yeah, and, and GSM, the success of, of GSM or of digital mobile overall was driven by the European Union. Yeah, it was the success of, first of all, standardization, but secondly also that there was very early a common business agreement. We had a memorandum of understanding between the different countries to introduce. We had a timeline, we had a service roadmap, and we had a technology agreement. And that's something which I think is also missing for, for this whole area of, of autonomous and connected drivings. Yeah, so unlike telcos, which worked since 20 years uh, on common standards and on cooperative business models, uh, because we have roamers and all of that stuff, uh, automotive is very much a competitive business. Yeah, and, 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 and by nature, they are very careful uh, also not to get into uh, uh, into competition uh, uh, collusion or so, yeah. And I think here also, I think that the, the the European Union can play a role to help to build that ecosystem and to build something like a memorandum of understanding where we can agree also on technologies, on roadmaps, which makes investments in the in the cars safe. Yeah, that we know. Okay, that's something which is a free investment, but it will pay off in a certain time when, when the others also invested and this whole ecosystem is taking up, and it will also help telcos to to do their part of investment and that we align this. So I would like to to bring this analogy, uh, which we have from the early days of, of mobile and, and, and why this was successful, also to this uh, business of connectors cars, and I think that can help also very much. Okay, thank you. Yeah.